welcome to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko, the show that brings you man-on-the-street interviews, celebrity guests, groundbreaking research, and heartwarming stories about the reasons we smile. Our show is also known as everything you've always wanted to know about dentistry, but we're too numb to ask. Hello, I'm General Dentist Dr. Kavitko, and thank you for joining me today. The following views and opinions do not necessarily reflect those of this station, its staff, management, or parent company. To hear a replay of this show or one of the great shows that previously aired, log on to TheReasonsWeSmile.com or iTunes, keyword Dr. Kavitko or The Reasons We Smile. Listeners should not use Dr. Kavitko's comments and advice in place of an actual dental exam. Brighten your life with a smile that shows the professional touch of Dr. Kavitko. Time now for The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko. Call 459-9769 to discuss your dental issues. Now, here's your host, Dr. Kavitko. Hello, everyone. Welcome to The Reasons We Smile. I'm Dr. Kavitko. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Today's show is episode 649 and is the 13th of a series of all pre-recorded shows due to the coronavirus COVID-19 outbreak, and therefore there is no question of the day. However, station management has said that I can go back in the building and do live shows starting July 12th. Okay, so today's show with me will be Dustin McKee. I'm going to tell you a little bit about him in a minute, but he is the executive director of a charity called Make a Day. Before we get started, though, let me remind you, if you'd like to follow me on Twitter, it's at Dr. Kavitko. And if you'd please go to my office Facebook page and like us, that would be awesome. Also, all past episodes complete with video are available at TheReasonsWeSmile.com. Okay, so let me tell you a little bit about Dustin McKee. For the past 16 years, Dustin has served marginalized populations in the Midwest and spearheaded major legislative advocacy initiatives with the Ohio. General Assembly and Congress. Prior to taking over the helm of the Make-A-Day Foundation, Dustin served as the policy director for the National Alliance on Mental Illness of Ohio. Prior to his work with Make-A-Day and NAMI, Dustin served in legislative and policy positions advocating for issues impacting children as well as those with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Prior to his focus on public policy advocacy work, Dustin served in direct practice roles serving people with intellectual developmental, and behavioral health-related disabilities. Dustin has a bachelor's degree in psychology from the Earlham College and a master's of social work from Ohio University. All right, so as I mentioned, with me today on the show is Dustin McKee. He is with Make-A-Day. It's makeaday.org, correct, Dustin? Yeah, it's www.makeaday.fun. Oh, it's .fun.fun. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so tell me about Make-A-Day. Well, the Make-A-Day Foundation is a nonprofit organization that provides outreach to Columbus's homeless population. For more than three years, those outreach efforts have been centered around hosting block pretty styled uh, pop-up outreach event, and they have focused on providing opportunities for homeless guests to build personal relationships with other community members. It really creates sort of a an equal footing for people to engage with one another. And so a person who is not homeless or in financially precarious position can engage with somebody who could describe themselves as in that position in a way that uh, uh, get, gets rid of labels and allows people to really engage on, on an equal sort of egalitarian footing. Um, so the events also help meet the basic needs of our guests who are homeless or financially insecure by providing them with free clothing. We have donations and they're really con consignment shop quality clothing that we have brought in. And that includes brand new underwear and uh, bras and things like that and socks that you have to have new. Uh, we also provide personal care item toolkits that are like a big freezer bag with everything from deodorant to razors to feminine hygiene products to band-aids, toothpaste and toothbrushes that are brand new and everything else under the sun that would be necessary for personal care. And we also provide a complimentary meal from a cadre of gourmet local food trucks and restaurants at the event. Wow. Uh, and one of the things that makes us stand out here in Columbus is that we also offer free haircuts, shampoos, styling, and shaves from some of the city's best cosmetologists. And that's been something we've been doing for a long time. And wow. recently we've expanded some of the work that we've been doing to focus on next step after the event. And uh, I'm sure we'll talk a little bit more about that as we go on. Yeah, so I'm very intrigued. How do you reach the homeless population? You don't, they don't have a home, you can't mail them a letter. How do you reach them? 
Well, it entails a lot of street outreach and a lot of word of mouth. Over time, the Make a Day Foundation has become well known within the folks who are in Columbus's homeless community. Early on and continuingly so, we engage with folks at uh, various shelters to let them know when our events are. They typically occur every six weeks. The events have been mostly hosted in the short north, right next to the standard hall on their patio during the summertime, and also in the food hall in the short north, which is just a couple doors down in the wintertime as well. In the summertime, we have both the inside and outside available. And we also just get out there and pound the pavement and let folks know. And as I came on as executive director, of course, I'm just like anybody else. I'll pass somebody on the street who might be, you know, panhandling, asking for some help. And I'll strike up a conversation with them. And it never fails. They always know who Make-A-Day is. Oh, um, like, oh yeah, you know, you give us the, 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 the burgers. And, and, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to getting my hair cut. Okay. Uh, and so it's, uh, it's definitely, the word's definitely got out. And we've got a social media presence. And believe it or not, that's actually something that generates some word of mouth awareness amongst uh, Columbus's homeless population or people who are precariously housed or facing some financial insecurity. Some of our homeless guests do have access to phones and the internet, whether it's uh, through their smartphone or at the public library or other ways, and they find out about us through their Facebook page or Instagram. Wow, so they have a cell phone, a smartphone. Sometimes that's the case. Oftentimes they are able to access the internet either at shelters or at our wonderful public library system, and I uh, have to brag a little bit. Well, Ohio has the best libraries in the nation. I believe that Columbus has the best libraries in Ohio. We really have the crowning jewel of libraries here in, in uh, the United States. So, um, yeah, that's another one of the ways that people are able to access it. Okay, and I agree with that. I've, we hear a lot of good things about the library system. Definitely there for people who need them. So I love the fact that you refer to the folks as your guests because you yes. want them to feel welcome. You want them to feel like someone cares, correct? Absolutely. The, the social connectedness piece is one of the main reasons why the Make-A-Day Foundation started doing what they do. It was started by three family members, three cousins, who would pass by people who were homeless on the street in the short north. And as that area became more and more built up, there's more and more foot traffic there. And people are often confused as to how to engage with people who might just be hanging out on the street, passing the time or panhandling. And oftentimes they'll avoid eye contact and walk right by. And in the conversations that those cousins had with the individuals that they eventually made friends with, because they always struck up a conversation or would help them out in some way, they would hear that they often felt invisible, like people looked right through them, like they were a ghost. And that can have a really dehumanizing impact on somebody who's already in not only traumatic circumstances, but probably had traumatic circumstances that led to their current circumstances of homelessness. And those cousins said, well, let's just do something that's good, that's a ray of hope. You know, the, the news is often dominated by stories that aren't so uplifting. So they wanted to do something different. And so they said, well, let's uh, set up. They just started in a parking lot in the short north, right by the record store, right by Scully. Okay. And Alec Emmerich, who owns Street Time Food Truck, said, hey, I'm going to bring my food truck over and he makes some of the best burgers in town. In fact, they were just by a few votes, the runner-up for Columbus's People's Choice for Best Burgers in the City in the Columbus Dispatch. And he said, you know, let's, let me serve uh, burgers to folks. And okay. uh, Kyle Parker, his cousin, who actually prayed a deal for a living, said, well, let me bring in some volunteers so we can kind of have a, a block party. Did you say trades uh, like, steel? Yeah. He's, okay. Uh, he's a commodity trader. Okay. What's um, his name again? His name is Kyle Barger. Okay. Kyle Barger. Uh, and uh, both are board members. Kyle is our board president. And their cousin, Rebecca, said, hey, let's have my uh, my cosmetologist come out. She owns an upscale salon in Howell. And the name of the salon is called the B-Rose Beauty Bar. So she brought in her chairs and her sink, got a water hookup, and offered shampoos, shave, haircuts, and styling from her friends who are cosmetologists and also her employees. And it started out from there. Uh, people brought in donations. And, you know, Rebecca talks about how at first there weren't that many people who felt comfortable getting shampoos and haircuts. And if you can imagine, if you've experienced trauma, it's a little precarious to have a stranger standing behind you being very tactile with your head. And as a dentist, I'm sure you know <laughs> um, um, some of the, the, the dental anxiety and some of the trauma that people have experienced. And so there was only maybe a dozen or so people that would, would trust her to do it. And now a 
some of her events, I think she does over 100 shampoos, haircuts, and styling for people there. And wow. it's a real confidence booster. I know when I leave the salon, I feel a lot more confident. And if you see some of the pictures from our events, you'll see people uh, taking a look in the mirror to see whether they like what the style is done and they want anything differently done. And really, they start to glow. We've done some before and after pictures. Mm-hmm. Uh, people really, really uh, seem to appreciate it. So it looks like it's time for us to go to a break. I'm really interested in this is fascinating. Before we go to a break, though, is Rebecca's last name Barger also? And she's one of the three cousins? It's Lowe. Lowe, like Lowe's Home Improvement? Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, who's the other cousin? Alec Emmerich. Alex Emmerich. Oh, yeah, you mentioned it. It's the street time, and it's... Uh, Oh, okay. T-H-Y-M-E, like the, um, like the herb. Oh, T-H-Y-M-E. Interesting. Okay. So, yeah, like I said, we have to go to a break. I've got lots more questions, and uh, you can stay with us, right? Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much, Doc. Okay. And maybe we'll talk a little bit about, I think I maybe took care of one of the more famous homeless people from Columbus, which is Ted Williams, but that's not what we want to focus on. But well, yeah. I do yeah. have some experience with homeless, so... Yep. All right, folks, hang on. You're listening to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko, episode number 649, and we'll be right back. You won't believe it, though. I want to hear your mind. And there's nothing else in the world tonight. She said people don't take the time. Hey, people don't take the time. Hey, what's going on? It's Keith Carlos, winner of America's Next Top Model and star of Chocolate City 2. You can look for my smile courtesy of Dr. Kavicko on the CBS television network where I play Danny on the hit soap opera, The Bold and the Beautiful. Stay tuned to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavicko, the world's most interesting dentist. Hi, I'm Dr. Kavitko. Guess what? We're open and here to take care of all of your dental needs. It's been a long time coming, but in the words of Governor DeWine, it's full steam ahead. During the time we were closed, we were acquiring PPE. We were developing a plan to keep you safe. We've had Zoom meetings, a very active text string, and in addition to going into the office to take care of emergencies, we've been in complete contact with each other, so we'd be ready. Are you ready? We bet your teeth and gums are. Don't forget, your teeth haven't been cleaning themselves. Your cat cavities haven't been getting any smaller, and your gum disease hasn't been healing itself. And if you haven't had x-rays in a while or an exam, there could be a lot of things going on in there that you're not aware of because, let's face it, cavities don't hurt. Even abscesses don't hurt until they get really bad. Call us at 614-262-9588. That's 614-262-9588. Or go to drkvitko.com. That's D-R-K-V-I-T-K-O.com. Visit World's Most Interesting Dentist.com for more info about Dr. Kavitko. Dr. Kavitko! Let's go! Yeah! Hi, I'm Johanna, and I've been a dental patient at Dr. Kavitko and Associates for over 10 years. I would really recommend Dr. Kavitko for your family's dental care. They're friendly, they're always there to help me. I feel like family when I walk in the door, it's clean, it's comfortable. Even if I have to bring my kids, they have a great playroom for them. I know when I'm with Dr. Kavicko, they are taking that extra time to make sure that I'm gonna be the healthiest I can be. They've been great, I love them. Call Dr. Kavitko and Associates today, 614-262-9588. Hi, this is Richard Simmons. Dr. Kavitko's here and he's gonna help you with all of your problems. Uh, are your teeth yellow? He can fix that. Are you missing a tooth? He can put a new one in. How is that? <laughs> That's very good. Thank you, Richard. Okay, we're back. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for hanging in there. This is Dr. Kavitko with The Reasons We Smile, episode 649. With me is Dustin McKee from Make a Day Foundation, and they are at, I think it's www.makeaday.fun, F-U-N, correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay, awesome. So, like I said, this is fascinating, and I'm thinking about the outdoor, the shampoos. You, you said you got a water hookup, so that means you have to have water running to a bunch of different sinks and maybe have warm water or hot water. Sounds like a major yeah. undertaking. Yeah, well, they figured it out. Okay. Um, Rebecca's been really good with that, and one of our dreams is to have a mobile salon over time as we try and raise funding to do that, and we also want to have a mobile outreach unit so that we can make it easier for us to get out into the community and in different places. 
Okay. And then we'll talk about later how I do have a mobile outreach uh, rig. I have a uh, 52-foot motorhome that I've equipped with a couple dental chairs, portable dental chairs, so nothing's bolted down, and that means it's multifunctional. I use it for this radio show sometimes and to do free dentistry for folks in need. This is wonderful, and that's actually a, a really good segue for us to talk a little bit about some of the next steps that we're developing at the Make a Day Foundation pop up event. Yeah, yeah. So you have an event coming up July Correct. And it's Correct. also at the Standard Hall. Yeah, from 11 to 1 at the Standard Hall patio. And typically, as I said, our events occur every six weeks. But unfortunately, because of the um, COVID-19 pandemic, we had to cancel our event for March and for May. And uh, in the meantime, we've been focusing on our um, meal campaign that we teamed up with Corso Ventures and Molina Healthcare and some others and worked with Ohio State University famous coach Urban Meyer to feed 20,000 in Columbus. And now we're at 16,000 meals that we've been distributing through various locations, including the All People's Fresh Market that's uh, run by Community Development for All People. A uh, big shout out to Reverend Edgar and Mike Primo and Aaron West out there. We've also been distributing meals through the Dream Center, and we formed a relationship with uh, Columbus City School to uh, set up at uh, Starling Elementary uh, in Franklinton, Lyndon McKinley High School in Lyndon, uh, Shady Lane Elementary School near Whitehall on the weekends uh, to distribute meals to low-income families on the weekend. Uh, each one of those sites is uh, one of several meal locations that the school system has set up during the week to feed the kids that uh, typically can rely on meals twice a day from their school. And because of the economic situation in Columbus, all students in Columbus City Schools qualify for free and reduced lunch. So they've had to open up some opportunities for people to get lunch and breakfast while the schools have been closed. And we said, hey, let us cover the weekend and uh, let us feed the parent as well. Wow, um, but, wow. Uh, we're hopeful as we move forward that we'll be able to have our July event, which will be somewhat modified. Uh, as I said, our event takes place every six weeks and the atmosphere provides guests with repeated opportunities to build lasting relationships with volunteers, staff, and so they tend to mingle and walk around a lot, and that's going to be kind of tricky because we'll have to have folks seated at different tables for the guidelines that our friends at the Ohio Department of Health have provided to us. So do you have uh, access to masks that you could give each of the participants a mask? Absolutely. We'll have masks available. We'll have hand sanitizer available, and what we'll be doing is bringing things to folks. So there'll be a menu of things that they can access. And luckily, because you reached out to us after I addressed the Clintonville Rotary Group, which was a wonderful opportunity, we'll have not only the meals and the personal care items and the shampoos and, and haircuts, but we'll also have dental services available through Dr. Kavitko, through your mobile dental unit, which is super, super exciting. You know, oral health is one of those things that is overlooked. Oral, um, oral health is the largest unmet health need in the nation. And that is absolutely true. And, and it's, you know, my background as a social worker is in mental health. So it seems like everything above the neck, not only in the professional world, but for lay people is a sort of a, a second thought. Right. Uh, and so that's one of the things that uh, we hope our relationships are able to help facilitate the trust that's necessary for us to provide referrals to various types of services across uh, Central Ohio for people who are our guests. And I can talk a little bit more about that. Okay. Yeah. So we're looking forward to it. And we've done this thing before. There are other events. And so, you know, we can do fillings, we can do extractions, we can do cleanings. We have to decide what is going to be more important. Sometimes we face the challenge of uh, maybe the first patient who sits in our chair. We have a portable x-ray machine as well, battery operated. And we find that person might have 13 cavities and yet there are other people waiting. So we typically will find the worst tooth or two if they're next to each other, you know, and work on those. Yeah. And then we see another other patient and hopefully we can catch the other 10 or 11 cavities that person has at, at the next event and the next event, that sort of thing. So we're going to do our best to see as many people as we can, but sometimes dentistry takes a little longer, especially longer than a haircut, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's a little more involved. <laughs> so no, it's really neat. And uh, when did Make a Day start? I know it was started by uh, Kyle, Rebecca, and Alex, but when did they start this? About three years ago. I don't have the exact founding date. I could go back to our nonprofit foundation starting date. However, I think that they were doing these events before they established themselves as a nonprofit. And I'm actually the first executive director of the organization. And I found that the um, the relationships that were being built between guests and volunteers was really unique and provided us with opportunities to help folks avail themselves of resources that they may not otherwise access through more traditional homelessness center, social services, and health services agencies. Okay.
Okay, wow. Uh, so to assist our guests with their ongoing challenges, after the event, we've established some innovative partnerships with local health, behavioral health, criminal justice, community, and social services. We're working with Primary One, which is a federally qualified health center. You know, I'm going to have you, let's let's yeah. go over that list when we come back from the break, because I'm looking at the clock and it's like, we better do this now or we're going to run out of time, but I do want to <laughs> hear, okay? So you're listening to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko here with Dustin McKee of Make a Day, and we'll be right back. You can take me as I am, not just a little bit. I don't know who to be I'm a paper cup, baby, of the sea I know you see it too Cause you're too much for me This is Clark Kellogg Stay tuned for more of Dr. Kavitko Estás escuchando con Dr. Kavitko Aquí en su sesión favorita Hi, I'm Dominique Weigert Like what you hear? Why not use the show to promote your product or service By becoming a sponsor Call 614-262-9588 to learn how that's 614-262-9588. Call now. Hi, I'm Dr. Kavitko, general dentist and host of the Reasons We Smile Radio and Roadshow. I've been honored to help several famous people get a perfect smile, like Keith Carlos and Dominique Rygaard from America's Next Top Model and Ted the Golden Voice Williams from right here in Columbus. Isn't it time you had a celebrity smile? It costs less than you might think, and most of the time, it can be done in one visit. A new smile can make a world of difference. Visit worldsmostinterestingdentist.com for more info about Dr. Kavitko. I'm Grandpa, and I go to Dr. Kavitko, and I still have all my teeth. Real ones. Where's my glasses? All right, we're back. I'm Dr. Kavitko. With me is Dustin McKee from Make a Day. And we were talking about, in fact, one of my questions was going to be, from where do you get your funding? So you had just started the TELUS, correct? Well, some of the stuff I was going to discuss are, are more in-kind and, and partnership-related things. Oh, um, tell us about funding, that, too. Yeah, so our partnerships that we've begun to develop, really, when I started to come on and then sort of COVID-19 hit, we began a, uh, a discussion with Primary One, which is a federally qualified health center here in central Ohio. And it's run by a friend and a friend of our community and, and a friend of our Senator Charlita Tavares, who actually served on the city council here in Columbus and was in the Ohio General Assembly for many years. Yeah, I remember. And they have all things under one roof. So they have 10 community health clinics, I believe, across. Uh, Central Ohio, and I think eight out of ten of them have the full array of services, which include primary care, specialty care, or everything that you could think of, as well as dental services, vision services, mental health services. They also have mental health case management and substance use disorder services. Okay. All under one roof, and they actually help their clients who have transportation barriers to get to the clinics by providing them with free access to an Uber or a lift. And also because they're a federally qualified health center in Ohio, that allows them to engage in the process of something called presumptive Medicaid eligibility determination, which really just means that you can sign somebody up for Medicaid on the spot based upon whether or not their income is low. Enough. Okay, so um, they tell you an income and you can pretty much tell they're going to qualify, so you're allowed to go ahead and treat them? Right. And then the, um, the presumptive eligibility Medicaid coverage lasts through the period that the formal paperwork has to go through with the Ohio Department of Medicaid for them to be formally on the Ohio Medicaid role. And so people don't have to wait to get insured and providers don't have to wait to be able to bill to be reimbursed for those services. Okay. Uh, and so we'll have community health workers and outreach workers engaging with folks at our event if they need that health coverage, but also to introduce folks to the things that are available to them, whether or not they have Medicaid, because Primary One does treat people who are not covered by Medicaid or private insurance. So we're very excited about that. We've also started some partnerships with Managed Care. Managed Care Medicaid in Ohio is how Medicaid is administered. And we have a partnership with the Molina Healthcare of Ohio, as well as Care 
resource, which are some of the, the best providers of managed care. And so they have uh, care managers that help people to figure out their pathway and to navigate through the maze of, paperwork. of services that they might need. Yeah. You know what? We are pretty much out of time. This is very interesting. I think what I want to do is have you back again. And maybe what we'll do is we'll have you back either July 12th or maybe even July 19th. We'll see like or one of those two Sundays right before the event, which is July 20th, okay? I would love to, and, and uh, that would give me a chance to talk about our partnership that's ongoing with Franklin County's Office of Justice Policy Program to offer our homeless guests access to um, on-site expungement and, wow. and uh, addressing warrants and peer support and other smart justice resources and programs to remove criminal justice barriers for people to be able to take the next steps in their journey. Wow. So there's so much more that we haven't even had a chance to cover. That's amazing. And uh, I think you know, um, because we talked off the air a little bit about how I also have a soft spot in my heart for helping people that have been incarcerated and getting reassimilated into society. But that'll have to be for another show. So, Dustin, I'm really happy that you found the time to do this for me, and I really appreciate your time, and thank you for doing this, and uh, let's set up a time to have you back, okay? I'd love to, and if there are other guests or uh, um, friends of, of your, your radio show that are interested in contacting me, my email is Dustin, that's D-U-S-T-I-N, at makeaday.fun and whether they're sponsors or folks that are interested in volunteering, we're happy to engage so that we can um, continue to do the good work that we're doing to, to outreach to uh, Columbus' homeless community. Sounds awesome. All right, Dustin, well, thank you so much. You have a great day and uh, looking forward to uh, that and to seeing you at the event. Thanks, Doc. You're very welcome. Okay, so that was Dustin McKee, the Executive Director of Make a Day. And it is www.makeaday.fun, F-U-N. Isn't that interesting? And his email address, as he mentioned, uh, is, if you'd like to reach out to him, is dustin at makeaday.fun. Okay? All right. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to the event on July 20th. Uh, we were scheduled to do an event last summer and it uh, got canceled and so it's been a little while since we've done one of our outreach events and I'm kind of anxious to get back into it to help as many people out as we can. Um, one of the things that I'm doing is I'm trying to uh, equip my motorhome with an extra suction pump and an extra set of uh, instrumentation so we can have two complete dental units. Uh, prior to this we would do one dental chair and one dental hygiene chair and so we hope to have two complete dental chairs so that uh, we can have maybe me and my associate, Dr. Pagano, can both be there and we can both be doing fillings or both be doing extractions, whatever we may need to do. This Make a Day event seems pretty unique in the sense that people will be able to get a shampoo and a haircut, a shave. Remember he said they will be given free clothes, new clothes, um, things like feminine hygiene products and underwear and socks and the things that you and I potentially don't really think about all that often or put a lot of thought into the kinds of things that the homeless population need. And also they'll get a free meal. And it sounds like a lot of good is going to be done on that day. So we are very, very happy to be able to participate. We are going to have to pay a special attention to uh, social distancing and the extra PPE that we are now wearing and uh, all of our those extra gowns and we're going to put up a barrier between the two chairs, uh, probably a plexiglass barrier and we'll only allow the people that are being treated in the uh, motorhome. We won't allow family members or anything like that. So it's going to be a little bit different, a little bit bigger of a challenge. We will take our temperature to make sure we have no fever. We'll take the patient's temperature for the same reason, and I think we're going to get through it. It's going to be great. Well, looks like that is all the time we have today. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed it. Before we go, let me remind you, if you'd like to follow me on Twitter, it's at Dr. Kivitko. And if you'd please go to my office Facebook page and like us, that would be awesome. Remember that all past episodes, complete with video, are available at thereasonswesmile.com. Be sure to tune in next week and every week right here on your favorite station. Good